Oh yeah, welcome back to the letters. <laughs> Like what makes a good skateboarder to you? You, you know, like what's what, what impresses you when you watch people skate? Mm, style and aggression. This is Dwayne. Welcome to the letters. We're to, uh, to sit here and talk to him about um, style and skateboarding. There's a short list of dudes that like really impacted skateboarding and and really made style first and foremost. Not about you know it's not about what you're doing. It's about how you're doing it. And you're like one of the first generation guys. So there's my blow fest. You know, you jump a fence, yeah. you've got a runner in your crew. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I got to be a runner. You want to be a runner. And you got to represent your crew. You don't want bad style. Yeah. You don't want to be a buzz killer. I really think it's that person's energy is basically like expelled on their board, you know? And you can tell what's real and what's kind of like added on. Hey, what do you think of style? Yeah. It's like, fucking, duh. I love skating. Now, because of all the different crazy styles. It's all just a matter of who gets the gnarliest and who goes for it more. I think the worst kind of style is fake style. It's like a Sector 9 soul carve taking a transition. It's really like, it bothers me to the point where I can't be nice. If I see someone pushing down the street, and they're three, four blocks away, I know who it is. Dwayne Peters had a fucking crazy own. He had his own style. And here's one of the reasons why you throw your arm out. You, you yeah. know, like, oh, we want to be like Olsen and Dwayne, so we go like this. What's the argument? Who did the front, first front side air? Mm -hmm. What's the argument? Oh, well, who? I mean, look at you had George Orton doing front side airs, and you had T.A. doing front side airs. And so I was more influenced by the T.A. air. You'd come up and you'd be like, yo, I'm a badass motherfucker. Now sit down, throw down early release. Boom, that was style as far as I could tell. Who it's did it? Though, right? <laughs> you know what the final verdict is? Who knows? No, Orton gets the first bio front side air and Alva gets the first front side air because of style. Tuck me, that's our, that, I mean, that's our poster child right there. Give it to Alva. Every skater that you like, take the best parts of that dude and throw it in and then create your own goulash of, of you yeah. know, Frankenstein creation and that there you'll be. Neil Blender, you know, his vibe, it was just like rad, dude. Neil Blender is one of my favorite skateboarders that ever lived. When you start to, when you sit down and go, we want to do a love letter on style, it's like, because you know, all I wanted to say was like, fucking Cardiel's arms, John Tex Gibson, Bobby Valdez, Daryl Miller. Daryl Miller had his style, Bobby Valdez. There's the Rick Windsor fucking, you know. Jason Jesse obviously has a great style. Jerry Valdez, Good one. Jay Adams, Jeff Phillips. Graholski. I like Danny Way too. Ray Bones was the smoothest little bastard of all time. You couldn't even hear his wheels. Mark. Mark, just anything, just reach out, grab it. Gator, I couldn't stand his style. Ray Barbie, you know, he's got the fingers up. And, and then you have something all by itself, which is like Javante Turner. Damn, just there's so many, dude. Aaron Murray, Dave Hackett, like all those dudes are just just putting everything they got like into their moves, man. Lopez had style. So much fucking style. Not a road for style eyes. Lance Mountain has his own style. He almost looks like he's surfing sometimes and homeboy can't even surf. He has to go out on a boogie board with fins and snorkel and like. Dude, like Tommy Guerrero fucking 
you know, he used to come through and he had the fucking hip bag and the, and the fucking little tilted hat. Like, that shit was fresh. Peter Hewitt. And then the other guy shows up and you're like, all right, cool, he brought six back, let him in. Oh, he does have style, even better. Mike Carroll. Don't fuck with me. Scott Oster has sick style. Huge fan of Scott Oster. I mean, like, Bailey has style. Style's Matt Hensley. Olsen. Alex Olsen's dad. You were either on his soy side of the fence or you were on Hawk's side of the fence. I mean, these are just, like, opinions. Even through all of Christian Osoy's, like, tights and long hair and everything, he wanted to watch him. There's no Christian Osoy without Shogo. Yeah, there you go. Salba had his style. Packet had his style. Wally had crazy style with his elbow that looked like it was broken. Ed Templeton had a style all of his own, and I don't think anyone's ever touched it again. I can't even do a trick anymore, and I can try to look stylish. I don't think so, because my gut's fucking hanging over my fucking cock, but who cares? It's all good. There are the guys that have style, and then there are guys that don't. And the best that the guys that don't can do is sit there with a tear, you know, dripping down their fucking face, you know, going, yeah, those guys are rad. I want to be like them one day. And they're never going to be. It, you know, they'll still skate. They'll still have fun, whatever. But, and I'm not going to name names or anything, because that's just fucked. But <laughs> <laughs> you know who you are. But